was twinkling my twinklers it's your girl twinkle toes liz here back with well slime rancher but i'm actually here guys to tell you a little bit of a story about what happened to me um story about what happened to me um it's the reason why i haven't been uh recording for like a couple days but apparently something happened to me a couple days but i thought i'd tell you my uh story um, while I'm playing Slime Rancher at the same time, sorry if I'm not focusing on the camera. It's because I hate, I can't multitask, I know, so don't bring, don't mind me if I don't really talk at some point. But boy, do I got a story to tell you guys. Um, but what happened to me a couple days ago and why I wasn't recording is this is, uh, um, it's kind of shocking for me to tell you guys, kind of nervous about it too um but apparently um when i was at home a couple days ago everyone was out and uh it's kind of weird but um okay i don't know how to put the story together but um okay uh i'm trying to think right now sorry i'm being delayed right now but um I don't know what happened to me a couple days ago, but I was at home alone and um, my whole family was out and uh, I was hungry. So I decided to eat these organic chips that apparently had multiple of uh, tree nuts. And uh, apparently I reacted to that. I was wondering at first after I ate the one chip that had the multiple tree nuts in it um i like i was okay for five minutes and then all of a sudden i was wondering like why do i feel so itchy and uh i was like feeling itchy and stuff and i was like scratching and then when i looked in the mirror i had like a huge rash so i let my parents know they said oh we're coming home anyway so we'll check up on it and then that happened like five minutes after but then another five minutes hit I've noticed my um, uh, my throat started hurting and I had trouble breathing. And so when my parents arrived, they immediately saw me. Apparently, uh, I, I don't remember like most of it, but apparently my parents saw me like struggling to breathe and I said, why can't I breathe? Why, why do I feel itchy all the time? So my parents had a panic. They freaked out. So what my dad did was basically took me to the hospital, get checked up, and the doctor just like, what happened to you? And I said, I don't know. I don't know why I'm feeling this. Like I ate chips that had multiple tree nuts in it. And then um, I uh, they said, well, I can tell that you might need medical help, so they took me in right away. Doctors were surrounding me. And then I'm like saying, what's going on? And one doctor did say, it looks like your body is having an anaphylactic shock. Because I was like freaking out and I'm like, am I going to die? And they're like, no, you're not going to die. You're okay. So <laughs> I kind of freaked out because... I used to never have a food allergy, but for some reason that happened because my parents know I do get a rash from cashews, but my parents never thought it'd get that bad. So I know talking nonsense here, but this is a true story of what happened to me a couple days ago and why I wasn't recording. Um, sorry if I'm walking around because this game is not important right now. <laughs> This is my story, so I'm just basically walking around right now. Um, but, um, yeah, basically, apparently the doctor said I was having an anaphylactic shock. And they are giving me, like, a blood work test or something like that, I don't know. But they were sticking needles in me, IVs. Then they gave me, um, it's the medicine that's in a EpiPen? An epiphrine, or what do you call it? And I said what's that for? They're like, oh, you're gonna feel shaky, so... I'm like, okay, I doubt medicine makes you feel shaky, but apparently... That was the first time I actually had the injection of, like, an epiphrine or something. 
And then after that, it was like all okay and normal. Like I was back to normal kind of thing. But I was in the hospital for like at least nine hours and they wouldn't let me walk or anything. And then about half an hour later, like the doctors came up to me and um, they the doctor gave me the shocking news and they said that um, it looks like you have developed a food allergy. And I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, you're apparently allergic to tree nuts. So I'm like, well, I have this all my life. And they're like, it could most likely be. So, and I'm like, what do I do? And they're saying, all you have to do is just stay away from tree nuts. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, anything else I need to keep with me? So they say, just take Benadryl in case you get the rash. So apparently they gave me Benadryl. And then they said, oh yeah, we're gonna also subscribe you to uh, an EpiPen. So I'm like, an EpiPen? I never used an EpiPen before. And they're like, well, now you do. Now you get to use one for the first time. Yeah, so yeah, that's a story that has happened to me. And that's why I haven't been uh, uploading in a couple days because apparently that happened. So I was extremely scared. I thought I really was gonna die or something. Cause it's my first time. It was actually my first time. Hold on, I'm gonna have to turn down the volume on this thing. But uh, apparently it was my first time actually getting an anaphylactic shock. So I'm gonna turn that down for a little bit. But yeah, it was my first time getting an anaphylactic shock. I I didn't know getting an anaphylactic shock could be so scary, cause again, first time I've developed a food allergy. I've I'm apparently allergic to tree nuts now, so and now I have to carry an EpiPen wherever I go. So any one of you out there who had food allergies to like tree nuts or peanuts, uh Give me some advice or suggestion, because I'm totally new to this. I don't know what to, like, you know, expect, and uh, should I avoid, like, certain things? Like, should I be worried that if I go to a restaurant, should I be, like, cross-contamination or something like that could happen to me? So, I don't know. It's like, that was really, really, really terrifying for me. And, um... Um, basically that's it and my my parents were shocked because they've actually never had a, a daughter or son with a food allergy before so they're pretty new to this too and so they don't know what to do and uh, my mom keeps forgetting that I have this now tree nut allergy thing and I always have to remind her I'm like remember tree nut allergy and she's like oh yeah because she was giving me She's like, oh, you want some bread, Liz? And I'm like, does it have tree nuts in it? And she's like, I don't think so. And I'm like, check the label in case. And she's like, okay. She checks the label, it has tree nuts in it. She's like, oh, okay, never mind. You can't have this. So apparently, I don't know um, how it goes that maybe I, I can touch tree nuts, but not eat them, or I can't touch them, or I can't eat them. Another thing the doctors told me to get was apparently I'm supposed to go for um, an allergy test, but uh, yeah. Um, but this is just a short little video about my tree nut adventure, and boy was it a scary horror adventure. Oh, I thought I was gonna die, but yeah. Um, I'm just sending out this quick message for you guys out there. Be warned. Very, be warned. Uh, I don't know. So, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna keep, uh, oh, you, you guys be quiet down there. Uh, but, yeah. Um, so anyone who has a food allergy or a train allergy, please give me advice and what I should, uh, do to prevent another anaphylactic shock apparently so yeah any advice
let me know in the comments because I'm kind of new to this thing and I don't know how to use an EpiPen so if anyone could teach me send me like a video of you showing any of you have food allergy you can probably send me a video of maybe a link to a video on how to use EpiPens maybe because sometimes I don't have time to look up on YouTube about that so anyways I'm probably gonna end this uh, short little video here guys and uh, let me know in the comments if you've had a food allergy or an anaphylactic shock before let me know how your adventure was with that because uh, I wouldn't want to know because I feel like I'm like the only one that has this thing. Well, I know there's people out there who has a food allergy just like me, but this is the first time I've experienced, and apparently it's the first time I've developed this. I wasn't born with it. I developed it, apparently, so yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments below any advice you can give me or any tips. Uh, please leave them in the comments below, because um, I really, really, really am nervous now, and I'm pretty scared that if I make if I eat the wrong thing and I didn't check the label or something like that, or cross-contamination, ugh, itchy nose, but cross-contamination, so, yeah, uh, it would help me a lot, so, anyways, I'm going to end this little video here, I know the beginning is gonna be a little bit weird, crazy, but please do not make fun of me with that, because my brain's kind of all over the place right now, but, Anyways, I'm going to end this off here. Thank you guys so much for listening to my little story about my tree nut adventure. My scary tree nut adventure. And uh, if you did like this short little uh, video, don't forget to twinkle eyes that like button as much as you can. And I will twinkle you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.